Good afternoon. It is, it is Wednesday. It is noon. And that means that it's time for Moments in Medicine Live, which is a live Facebook chat that we host here with our experts at Nebraska Medicine every Wednesday. And today we're talking about definitely a popular topic this time of year, flu shots and the flu. Joining me today is Dr. Alberto Marcellin. Thank, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Thank you, Kayla. It's a pleasure. So before starting this discussion, we always like to start out with a little reminder. The contents of this live chat are for informational purposes only. So if you have any questions specific to your treatment or health condition, we ask that you direct those directly to your doctor. So here we are, October, flu season. Yep. What are we seeing so far as far as uh, any cases in our area? Yeah, so um, it's very early in the flu season, of course, October 1st is when, when we start. Um, luckily in Nebraska so far, because it's so early, there's not a lot of um, flu cases coming out. So I believe the CDC mentioned about 30 cases so far, starting from September uh, 29th. But and again, just because it's early doesn't mean you don't have to come in and get your flu shot. It means now is the time to get the flu shot. Correct. So who should get vaccinated? Right. So, I mean, anybody should get vaccinated from six months to older, right? It's very important for our patients from six month old to eight years old to get vaccinated early because they need a second shot. So they don't just get the regular one shot like everybody else that's older. So if that's their very first time getting their immunizations, then they get two shots. They get the first one and a month later they get another one. Now, if they've been vaccinated before, then of course they get the usual one shot. But that's why it's very important because the flu shot is so important. That's our first and main way to prevent mm -hmm. getting sick. So, uh, I mean, we have a lot of patients that would come in or not getting the flu shots or really asking why is this so important for mm -hmm. me to get. And that's why it's important. That's our main way to get um, protected against the flu shot. And so you may ask yourself, well, why is it so important? That's because um, if you think about it last year alone, I mean, 700,000 people were sick. I mean, 700, that's, that's a, a lot. lot of people <laughs> that were hospitalized because of influenza like mm -hmm. illness or the flu, right? And think about this, 80,000 of the 700,000 people died because of complications from the flu. And about 90% of these patients mm -hmm. were 65 years old and older. I mean, that's serious stuff. And 180 kids died from that also. Over half of these kids did not get their flu shot. And it's something that's so easy to do. You just have to take the time to do it. It's something that we actually have a level of protection against. Um, we are live on Facebook right now. I'm going to update my page right now. So if you have questions for Dr. Marcellin, please put them in the comments and I'll scroll through and try and ask some of those questions for you as we kind of get rolling. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about the yep. flu shot. Let's start with a very common one that people say the flu shot makes me sick. Right. So, right, so, and I do have some of my patients that come in to me and say, mm -hmm. you know what, I don't want to take the flu shot because it makes me sick. It is possible that about 10 to 15% of patients may have like small reactions. I mean, you're talking about a little bronchitis mm -hmm. or aches, but anybody that actually had the flu know how different it is. So people with influenza will come in. I mean, you're talking about high fever, chills, malaise, you cannot get out of bed. That's how bad it is. So it's really bad for people that didn't get their immunization. So those of us who actually got the immunization, it is true, you could still get the flu even though you were immunized. For example, myself last year, I had A followed by B. It was not fun, but thank God I had my immunization. So that helps decrease the severity of the disease itself. So you'll get some protection no matter what if no you get the vaccination. What. You can't get that if you don't at least get Correct. immunized. Correct, and, and, and it's very important because even if you don't get sick, or even if you do get the flu and you do get sick, you're not just protecting yourself. You're protecting everyone around you. And that include those 65 years old and older that have chronic conditions like asthma, COPD, lung problems, diabetes, or the kiddos that mm -hmm. are very early that couldn't go, that can't get their flu shot, you know? You're protecting all these people. Well, and I think that's important because a lot of people think, oh, well, I never get sick, or I don't like the way that it feels, but it's yeah. not an I situation if you have kids in your family, if you have elderly people, if you have somebody with a compromised immune system. Correct. And you can actually be contagious before you start to show symptoms too, is that? That is correct. The flu is very, very contagious. Think mm -hmm. about this for a minute. So when you sneeze, you have droplets, right? That mm -hmm. come out of your mouth or knees or, I'm sorry, or, or nose, right? So these droplets, you have small and large. So the large droplets can be around for a while, right? And they can 
move around or for about six feet. So technically it could be six feet from a person, mm -hmm. that person sneezing, you get it. Very contagious. Mm -hmm. If you breathe in the little it's droplets. It's not just gross. It no, can really It is gross and sick. contagious, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> um, I mean, these droplets, you can inhale them. They can fall in your mouth and then suddenly you have the flu. And you're right. So you could have the flu mm -hmm. and not know about it. But if you come in to see us and get tested, then we can know about a day or two before you even start showing symptoms. Now the flu usually lasts about seven to 10 days, a little longer in kiddos, right? Um, but come in early. You wanna be seen within 48 hours. If you come in, you've been seen within 48 hours, then we have the chance to treat you properly. We already talked about with the little kiddos, the mm -hmm. fact that they need two doses. Correct. What are the options as far as for those of us that are older, as far as the kinds of flu shots and the ways that we can get the flu shot? Yep, so there are many reasons, I'm, I'm sorry, many ways and uh, many different type of flu shot. The one that's, so there's not one that's recommended over another, but the one that's great is the inactivated form that you get um, when you come into your uh, usual primary care doctor or at a grocery store or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, you do have the flu mist. This, this year actually, we, uh, the CDC kind of go ahead and say, hey, we're gonna go and try that again. So that's when it's easy. You put it in the nose, you spray. Not my favorite because there are so many um, uh, regular, regulation basically mm -hmm. before sure. you get it. You can't get it if you um, younger than two. Uh, you can't get it if you over 50. You can't get it if you wheezing. You can't get it if you have asthma. So too many uh, regulations. So that's why I usually say, hey, let's go with the immunizations if you're able to get it. It's just kind of a moment of a poke if you get the actual shot. Now, I'm a parent, and I know I've gotten the mist for my kids before because it's easier because I think it gets you away from the guilt of the needle. But talking to you about it today, yeah. I, can, I can understand that. You work with kids all the time. Yep. We're actually here at uh, the Chalco Clinic off 168th and Giles where you see the kiddos of all ages. Yep. I think this is tough for parents because it's hard to tell your kid, well, this is going to hurt, but it's but it's for your own good. Yeah. How do you recommend parents prepare their kids for getting a flu shot? So I think it's, it's definitely based on the type of child you have. Mm -hmm. um, you can use, uh, there's really two big methods out there. Some, uh, so some parents will say, hey, I'm gonna let my son know, hey, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna get a flu shot, it's gonna hurt, kind of prepare them. I mean, that's, that's my favorite, to be honest with you. The others is, wait and see, you come in, hey, you're gonna get a flu shot, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, they all have positive and negative. If you wait, then the patient, uh, then the kiddo's like, oh God, no, I don't want everyone to come back here again because I'm gonna get poked, right? But then if you tell them ahead of time, then they know about it, then they know they're coming from, for the flu shot and they get to pick their favorite little band-aid. Well, take them out for ice cream. Take me out for ice cream. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that, right? I actually bribed my kids with Nerf guns this year, so there you Great. go. Great, let's go out and have fun. Do you need one? We can shot. ice cream, Nerf yeah. guns, see it's all good as right. long as you get them that protection. That is um, correct. Pregnant women, what do yep. they need to know about getting vaccinated? Very, very important for pregnant women to get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Well, then you ask yourself why. Well, if you give birth, remember what we said, six months and older. For the first six months, your child doesn't get any protection. So the only protection mm -hmm. they get is from you. Right. And that's if you were vaccinated prior to that. Um, I have a question that just came in. If my seven-year-old gets the flu and I catch it early, can you prescribe Tamiflu or something like that? Yes, so if we know for sure it was documented that it was the flu and they catch it, usually we ask them to come in because we wanna know again, what medications they're on, what are they taking, is it the patients that we're seeing? So get to know a little bit more about that patients, but yes, definitely, if they have it, we know they had it, you have it, we can treat you as well. And that's why at Nebraska Medicine, we actually have two clinics, I think it's two or more, that actually have the extended, um, the flu season basically, where you can come in, you walk in at any time, you don't need any appointment as long as we're open, and we have extended clinic hours just for you um, to come in and be seen. And one of us, one of the locations is here at Chalco, 168 and Giles at the corner, and you can't miss us. Beautiful clinic here, and actually, it's a perfect segue because to show how easy and fast it is, I'm actually gonna get my flu shot live on Facebook today. Bridget's gonna come over and she's gonna get me prepared. I'm gonna ask you one more question while we're getting ready there about the flu itself. Cause I think some people are like, oh, I threw up for 24 hours, I had the flu. Yeah. But that's not the same thing at all. So can you talk about the actual symptoms when people need to be concerned that it might be influenza that they're looking at? Right, so it's very hard to say, is it influenza, is it a cold? That's mm -hmm. because the flu and the cold, they have so many symptoms that overlap, right? Um, most people that actually had the flu before will know they have the flu again, just because it's, I mean, it's high fever. You can't even get out of bed, your, your joint aches, but it doesn't start like that. I mean, it, it is sudden, but I mean, 
these these um, symptoms can progress and get worse and worse and worse, right? So cold, flu, similar symptoms. Sure. Best way to know is to come in and then we test you and we know for sure. And the best way to make sure you don't wind up with flu is to get a shot. So Bridget's gonna best come over. Protection. I wore short sleeves today so that I oh, could get poked. Go. And this is my first, well, my first and only flu shot that I need this year. Way I've had it before. People can expect maybe a little discomfort at the shot site. What do you tell people who maybe are finally getting a flu shot for the first time? I tell them Bridget's gonna do it. And <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, um, it's just a little poke. Mm -hmm. And you're saving lives. 80,000 people died. 180 kids are dying. I mean, if this is what we can do to help the people around us, those we love, let's get it done. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about you and your pain. It's about those you love. Okay, Bridget, yep. go Thank ahead. You. you don't have a microphone, so lean in nice and close <laughs> to me. Um, what questions so, do you need to ask me? Um, have you ever been diagnosed with the Guillain-Barre syndrome? No. Okay, have you had a fever, felt sick or ill recently? No, I feel great actually. <laughs> okay, um, any allergies to eggs? No. Okay, and have you had a serious reaction to the flu vaccine in the past? I have not. Okay, then you're good to go. Okay, you guys can look at this. I prefer to not look at the needle. <laughs> Um, if there are people that answer yes to those questions, I assume that there are other ways for them to Correct. get vaccinated. Correct. But the most important thing is that we're going to go for ice cream after this. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. He's going to take me out for ice cream. And Ready? where there's a lot of good options. Yeah. Just, there we go. Oh, there's a piece of cake. It's all it over. Is, and, it is. Perfect. Yeah. And, and see, I get a nice away. standard Band-Aid, <laughs> but I'm assuming if I wanted a princess Band-Aid or a robot Band-Aid or something like that, it would we be an option. We can make that happen. Yep. We can make that happen. So. Um, thanks to all of you for tuning in to another Moments in Medicine Live. If you would like to make an appointment with a provider like Dr. Marcellin, start at 1-800-922-0000. Or, of course, you can always go to our website, nebraskamed.com. And if there's any questions that we didn't get answered today, we actually have a great Q&A article on the flu shots with Dr. Marcellin himself. Thank so, you. any final words for the people out there today about the flu? Um, Sure. I mean, we're here for you. It's still early. Um, come in and get your flu shot. If you do have kiddos, bring them early now because they have to, like I said before, a month later, they need another one. It takes about two weeks for after you take the flu shot for it to be in full effect and being able to protect you. So you want to start early. You don't want to wait later around late November or December when the flu is out there and mm -hmm. full fledged. Get it taken care of get now and get an ice cream cone while you're at it. Bring Piece it of in. cake. Yeah. Show your Band-Aid as your badge of honor. Thanks for watching us and we'll see you back here next week.